they will have to um, uh, to relocate part of their activities, not all their activities, but part of it because of Brexit. But there are many people who say look, that's just overstated, um, not least uh, the rating company uh, Moody's, which has said in practice we expect the impact of a formal withdrawal of the UK from the Euro uh, economic, European economic area to be limited for most UK banks. And that's because there is a presumption that various deals that can be done which will ensure that perhaps a small office may be required to be set up within the EU, um, but, but actually the m bulk of business can still be done out of London. Well, most institutions um, uh, consider that they will have to relocate uh, something like 15 to 20 percent of their present activities in London. So you're right, it's the, the, uh, the majority of the business may remain in London, uh, but uh, 15 to 20 percent is not insignificant. And that is because uh, uh, there will need to be not only uh, uh, sales forces um, in the EU 27 to uh, um, to sell to clients, but also uh, as the ECB, as a supervisor, has uh, um, uh, constantly repeated uh, that uh, uh, there, there will be a need to, to have uh, uh, the trading activities, uh, the risk control systems, the compliance system. So it's not only a small office, uh, and that's true for banks, but the same uh, should be true for insurance activities. Uh, um, and um, and uh, to, uh, to a large extent uh, asset management too. And is it your feeling that France, Germany as well, which of course because of the location of the ECB, um, Frankfurt has appears to have been winning business over Paris, but is it your understanding and your intention to play quite hard line, to play hardball with, with the UK in negotiations to ensure that you get as much business as possible? I, I don't think that the, the, the issue is, uh, should, be, should be looked at that way. I mean, uh, there is a logic in the single market. By the way, the, this logic was uh, uh, drawn up um, at the time uh, with a, a strong input of the UK, which was very much in favor of the single market. And the logic is that there are, three, there are four conditions to, uh, uh, to be part uh, and to have full access uh, to, the, to the single market for financial services in particular. The first one is that you, you must implement EU regulations. Second, you must accept the control of the ECG, the European Court of Justice. Third, you must contribute significantly to the EU budget. Never, mm. we, we ne never forget that uh, Norway we're is, we're is contributing as, as much as, uh, almost as much as the UK per capita. And finally, the four freedoms. Christian Neuer, it's a point at which we will leave it. Thank you very much. Because we have the weather forecast from Ben. Yes, we do. Thank you, John. Good morning to you. Are we